Good evening to all. Today we are going to discuss about the inlet guide vane which is used for centrifugal compressor. In this video you will see the velocity triangles when the IGB position is changing. Normally IGB position is divided into three categories. One is called pre-whirl condition of IGB, another is axial position of IGB and third is overturn of the IGB. We'll also discuss about little bit about the IGB design and in this video you'll also see the actual movement of IGB at all three positions. In addition to this we will also see about uh, the ITV position that is in the throttle wall. So I'm sure this video is going to be very interesting so please do keep watching until the end and subscribe my channel. Thank you. So let's uh, begin the discussion of inlet guide when used for centrifugal compression first of all let's understand the why uh, devices are used for the search uh, control of the uh, centrifugal compressor so the flow control devices which are used for the you know control of comp compressor operations are inlet guide when that is igb inlet throttle valve that is itv and diffuser guide when that is dgv Normally IGB and ITB are used for the most of the cases of compressor control. However, in some cases, a special case DGB is also used or sometimes it is combination of any two devices. And these are the main purpose and main reason for use of these devices. These are why? Because the starting of compressor, a stopping of compressor and operation of compressor. So because of all three major uh, uh, purpose for which uh, we need to use this, device that is IGB, ITB or DZ. Now a starting of the compressor, when compressor, you know, when this compressor started, the four to five times of rated current is taken by the, uh, as a starting current by the motor, which drives the compressor. So if the IGB is more opened or if there is no IGB, then the starting current would be much, much higher and which will cause the damage to the motor. And so, IGB is used to minimize the, you know, flow control, flow, minimize the flow through the compressor so that load is under the controllable, controllable limit so motor can easily start the compression. Second is operation of the compressor when uh, compressor is designed to operate different uh, flow condition, different uh, pressure condition as per the operation requirement. And this is achieved by opening of IGB or ITB or DGB or even anti surge control valve also. So these are the requirements and for that IGB, ITB or DGB is required. Third is a stoppage of compressor. If you want to stop the compressor, that means you have to unload the compressor. That means you have to reduce the load of the compressor by reducing the flow you need a, such devices like IGB, ITV or DGB through which you can reduce the load of the compressor and then you need to stop the compression. Now IGB, ITV, DGB you can see the first picture is for IGB, second picture is for ITB and third is diffuser guide when when means diffuser that is DGB is also used as a control. In case of IGB, you can see the IGB installed very closer to this. You can see the gas is turned in the same direction as the direction of rotation that is called pre wall condition. In case of, and that is the reason this ITV is installed very close to this. In case of ITV, it is always flow through the, you know, ITV is always axial. And so it is not necessary to install very close to impaler. It can be installed further. In case of diff diffuser, it is uh, always installed on the honest inside because diffuser is out, outside or that is uh, and uh, uh, after the impaler and so it is downside of uh, impaler. Now ITV you can see ITV is a, just a butterfly wall or any type of butterfly wall is can be used as ITV. And the big disadvantage of use of ITV is there is a huge considerably huge pressure drop as compared to IGV and uh, typically the pressure drop across ITV is 0.9 times of inlet that means if the inlet pressure is 10 bar you will get only 9 bar at outlet of 
ITB that means inlet to compressor so the performance of compressor will be affected if you use the ITB however ITB is cheaper as cost wise than IGB inlet uh, velocity triangle for ITB you can see there's flow through the impeller is XL you can draw inlet velocity triangle that is C11 C1 is equal to CA1 and U1 is inlet mean relative inlet mean tip velocity and v1 is inlet mean relative velocity beta 1 blade inlet with respect to xl you can see this is beta 1 both are same but world component is zero because this e c1 is xl i gv or inlet guide vane control inlet guide vane control as I say the gas can be turned in the same direction it can and so this is called pre wall condition it, it is maximum closure position that is 90 degree to zero position zero position can be considered open position so the if the igb will fall between 90 degree that is closed position to full open position it is considered as a pre wall condition since gas can be turned by use of igb so igb need to install very close to impeller igb can also uh, feed the gas XLE to the impeller so this is another position called XL position or IGB can also counter turn that means overturn that is opposite direction to the direction rotation of the impeller and that degree is limited to approximately 20 degree from the full open position to overturn position is 0 to 20 degree now little bit about the inlet guide vane so this is inlet guide when you can see the one factor that is called solidity and solidity of IGB design approximately one and solidity defined as a chord divided by pitch that means chord is this and pitch is between two center line so chord divided by pitch is one and what is pitch pitch is pi dn by six where d is a pitch diameter and n is the number of bands this is IGB you can see the front view of single vanes impellers i uh, sorry single vanes you can see single vanes and perpendicular the flow direction if you look at from this the gas is passing like this if you front view of two adjacent vanes towards the flow direction so this is flow direction you can see these two vanes like this and if you see the top view of igb you can see like this gas is coming here and goes out this is called this is pitch now IGV position broadly divided into three parts as I said pre wall position, axial position and overturn position. So in case of IGB is pre wall condition, uh, gas can just gas is turned in the same direction as direction rotation of the impeller. And this is the velocity triangle. You can see this is C1, this is U1, this is V1 and this is CW1 and CA1. This is pre wall inlet velocity triangle for the pre wall condition of igb that means full close to full open position in between full close to full open position is called pre world position of igb excel position of igb you can see the flow gas comes in actually also comes out actually so gas is striking the impeller inlet in excel direction so you can see the velocity triangle c1 is equal to ca1 v1 u1 and cw1 is zero because it is excel this is the third position that is overturn position of igb you can see the direction has changed in counterclockwise direction of the impel that is opposite direction to the direction rotation and this is limited to 0 to 20 degree only and you can see the velocity triangle here this is c1 it has this is u1 and this is v1 it has two components ca1 xl and cw1 in this direction see the cw1 position or is opposite to the impeller direction in case of overturn position of IGB. Now you will see the actual video of operation of IGB. This is full close, zero degree, full open, zero, sorry, full close, 90 degree, full open, zero degree, and overturn is minus 20 degree. You can consider. So let's see the video. This is full close position. Now it starts opening towards zero degree this 
opening. Now fully axial. This is fully axial position. Full open position. That is zero degree. Now it is moving towards forward turn. Minus twenty degree. So I hope you have enjoyed the, this session for inlet guide vane, different position of inlet guide vane that is pre-whirl, axial and overturn position and how the velocity triangle is changing for different position and also we have seen little bit about the design part of uh, IGV that is solidity and uh, also little bit about the ITV. The ITV the flow is always axial and there is a disadvantage of use of ITV is that there is a relatively more pressure drop as compared to IGV. However, the cost wise ITP is cheaper than IGV. So I'm sure you have enjoyed this session. Thank you. Thank you for watching.